Welcome to episode two of Boo Scumps a Goosebumps podcast. <laughs> I'm co host Luke. And I am co host John. And episode two <laughs> is Don't Wake Mummy. Don't Wake Mommy. <laughs> That right there, ladies and gentlemen, was our brand new theme song created by our friend Steve Ortiz. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. And you know, it's funny because I was actually making a theme song, putting together like Apple loops and like this shitty MIDI piano, trying to like basically do a ripoff of the Goosebumps theme. And Steve just randomly reached out to us and was like, hey, I have this like theme song I've been working on. If you guys want to use it or not, like whatever. And we were like, holy shit, this is amazing. We have to use it. I tried I tried not to appear too eager when he sent it over to us. He was like, yeah, you could use it if you want. And I was just like, yes, 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 please, please, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not, that the, not that yours wasn't great, Luke. I liked yours oh, a lot, too. I don't even hold a candle to him. <laughs> and uh, since we're so grateful, we want to shout out Steve's SoundCloud. He is Steven Ortiz 201 and we'll put a link in the description. But uh, he does a lot of house and trance music, but a lot of other stuff too. So he's definitely worth checking out. And thanks again for sending us this awesome theme song, Steve. An insanely talented music creator, music engineer. Thank you, Steve. So this is our Goosebumps podcast. We are the only Goosebumps podcast. For the TV show. For the TV show. Because there are a lot on the books. I did the research. There's a lot on the books, but like none on the TV show, which I was very happy about. Let me put on a few qualifiers. We are the only Goosebumps podcast for the TV show hosted by two guys in their mid-20s who are drinking as they review. You know, even as you say that, that sounds like we're not alone. There's probably, there are <laughs> dozens of us. Well, only ones I know about. So I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to that for now. So on our first episode, we were drinking uh, Corona and Trader Jose. Mm -hmm. We have swapped. So now I'm drinking Trader Jose. And I'm drinking Corona. How's she treating you, Luke? It's not bad, but... <laughs> it's yeah. a strong flavor, right? The Trader Jose. It's like, it's more than you expect from a light beer. It's it's, it's Well, flavorful. this isn't light. It's uh, it's the extra. Oh. It's the Corona extra version. God damn Trader it. Jose, yeah. You know I'm trying to watch my figure. You're putting this temptation in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be uh, feeling great tomorrow at work. Are you, are you working tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, we'll be fine. I've, I've been through worse. Uh, anyway. You, you suggested tonight, man. If I had known you were working. Yeah, no, it's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, all right. So <laughs> I think without further ado, let's just get right into it. This is Don't Wake Mummy. You will beware. A listener beware. You're in for a fright. <laughs> That's not what you said in the first one. Uh, yeah, well, I forgot already. <laughs> He's talking like he's trapped in a well. Fearless kids. Oh, I had the same dinosaur toy. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, don't wait. go back now. Oh, you ruined the synchronization. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. God damn it. I didn't mean to. Well, just do another clap. Wait, I'll just, uh... Perfect clarinet solo to bring us back. I'm sorry, but I had the same exact dinosaur toy this kid has. Yeah, well, you're 27 now. <laughs> Which one's his sister? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yo, that's uh. Is that Joe Pesci? No, it's not Joe Pesci. That's uh. Nobody. He's no one. Better take it around back to the cellar door. George. She wants it around the back. She wants it around the back. Dude, the delivery guy just. That's your department, George. All right. They are just. 
have faces painted on them and stuff? Not all of them. It's Look, there were low income mummies, you know? Yeah, they, like, they, <laughs> yeah, why doesn't it have jewels and riches? Oh! Yeah! Oh, that was Wait, good. She wasn't. She was standing in between. Okay, so. <laughs> Where'd she get the, like the. the bro okay, but there's the brother standing, and then the friend, and then the sister. And the sister's hand. Like, what is she, Mr. Fantastic? Her limbs can just stretch around. Like. It came from the bottom. I bet you never thought you'd get to sleep with a real mommy in the house. Yeah, no. Sure. <laughs> I thought that sentence was going other places. It looks like we have a royal house guest for the weekend. The royal, royal, the sarcophagus is not even gold. <laughs> it's made out of fucking brown plaster. <laughs> also, this camera is just like creeping in from it. Like, there are so many items in the foreground of every shot. Classic foreground, middle ground, background. Oh. oh. What the Ew. fuck is that pizza? So many olives on that pizza. The kid is so mad about yeah, it. Yeah, the kid's like, okay, this isn't right. Like, even I know. Okay. Oh, she's going to see the delivery guy. Ooh. She's going to go get her around the back. Because <laughs> she's not going to work. She works in Egyptian studies. I just had something answered for me, which is why the hell is there olives on this pizza? It's because the sister did it despite the younger brother. What a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to ruin this pizza for everybody. Even though the friend is probably like, I don't even like the olives. <laughs> look, look I, get, I get you hate your brother, but come on. Like, I'm sleeping over. This is my only Jeez, food. I'm sorry, Satan. Like, <laughs> All right. Oh, I know who that kid is. Who is he? It's uh, Junie from Spy Kids. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> All right, the sister is getting way too much enjoyment out of, like, her brother being, like, shitting his pants scared. I think the sister is in the running for meanest older sibling in all of Goosebumps. Know, That's like, saying something. <laughs> like, last episode with that guy, the guy who was like, oh, you're scared of dogs? Like, whatever. Like, when the dog showed up, he was like, oh, my God. Like, the brother is, like, watching this movie, and he's, like, petrified, even though it's not very scary. But the sister's like, oh, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> the sister's really, like, enjoying the torment of it all. Yeah. She's getting off. Like, the mom is getting off right now with that delivery guy. <laughs> Around the back. Help me with this. This girl is... Okay, yeah, they're gonna... She's a guest. This. This, this family friend is a guest in the home, and she's helping... <laughs> Imagine you... I just wanted to sleep over my friend's house, and now I'm opening up a sarcophagus. <laughs> That I don't want to do. I had sex yeah. with a pharaoh. Put that pussy in a sarcophagus. <laughs> like Kanye West right here. Don't put that in. I'm putting it in. No. Now everyone will know how I feel about sarcophagus. <laughs> sarcophagus. Hanging out by the pyramids of his friends. Hanging out by the pyramids. Hey, what? <laughs> Grab the slushy by the pyramids. <laughs> See, the sister, whenever, like, she catches her brother slipping, she's like, I gotta scare the shit out of him. This is this is legitimately kind of fucked this up. This is like, <laughs> when he grows up, he's gonna be like, talking in therapy, like, man, then she locked me in the basement with and, a mummy, a real mummy. And how did that make you feel? I was scared shitless. <laughs> This mummy is moving. There was a POV shot of going from the face to the dick. Uh, oh, the arms, yeah. I that's think, what I mean. I think Vag, I think that is a, ma a female mummy. Wait, what? No. What's the matter? I thought you were the mummy. No, I'm the mommy. God, uh, she did yeah, say it. She's <laughs> Mummies do not come back to life. Listen, Jeff, I'm only going to say this once. Did you kill yourself? <laughs> You're adopted. <laughs> Some was that a Jeffrey Epstein joke? <laughs> that was a Jeffrey Epstein joke. I had the all-time freak out, scare him with this. Girls, this is oh, okay. Girls, like, like, even this, the, there's got to be something better to do than just torment the younger brother. Talk about boys in your grave. You I don't know. know. You don't even have to talk about boys. You misogynistic asshole. Are you telling me our mummy's a killer? The, the mummy's <laughs> the mummy's a killer, and so is your mommy. Oh, that, what is that noise? Like a symbol? Uh, it's a gong. It is a gong? Yeah. Well, they're, they're going heavy with the Egyptian type music. Oh, right. Darling, it's so good to hear your Oh, it's husband. Yeah, 
for the delivery guy. <laughs> Nope. Oh, he's in fucking Egypt. The delivery man I mean, was just in, a fling. He's in the Egypt green screen. Yeah, wait, where did she go out then? <laughs> I like that bag of water. Where is that landline that he's speaking on? Whatever you do, don't sleep with the delivery guy. <laughs> oh. oh, Luke, did I tell you I had that same dinosaur toy? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Fuck your dinosaur toy. Oh, dude, it was a good one. They spent hours. hours on makeup and costume. Just to, this is okay. Yeah, he's gonna snap. Can she just hang out with our friend and just, just leave him alone? Watch something on Netflix. The nineties. <laughs> Watch something on VCR. Oh my god! Oh wow! Gonna murder swinging at him. Jeff's Jeff's got the moves. Oh, look at Dude, him. Jeff's gonna be a good boxer when he grows oh up. Oh my god! Stick and move, Jeff. Stick and move. Uh, the mom just was the first down the stairs. <laughs> the mom. She the left mom the book. She left her son to like box oh my God. with him. They can run. They're not trapped. No, but they don't want to leave Jeff alone. No, that's not what's happening. They could. All she left him before. That was in a movie, Jeff. Okay, somebody help him here. This mummy doesn't seem that strong. This they are letting the young <laughs> child fight the mummy. She does not win any Mom of the Year awards. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, no! Now that's what I call mummy dust. <laughs> what? She was waiting that entire Wait, fight to say that line. That doesn't make... Is that even a zinger? Like, what? That's what I call angel dust, baby. I'm never going to be afraid of anything again so long as I live. I would think so. I, yeah, I guess. Now I'll be friends with you. Now that you've saved my life. I was going to torment you for the rest of your life, but... Now that I owe you a life debt, I will not be a shitty older sister. Wait, when did they have a cat? They never had a cat, right? Oh, no, it's an Egyptian cat. <laughs> It is, it is the Egyptian ah. cat. Where is that heart? Oh, oh gee. Oh, my God. That's who, it. It's over. Who called the Swiss ending? Your boy. So we have to assume that that kid died. Yeah. I Another mean. Another gruesome ending. We're, like, we're two for two. You have to assume the cat killed the kid and the mother stood by and did nothing. As well as the sister and the friend. Yeah. They got away. They, 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 oh, well, did they, they get away because no, because they, they, while the cat was maiming and killing the young boy, his mom and sister definitely just like snuck out the back and you know she wants it around back. <laughs> and, and me and Luke had a lot of fun with that throughout the episode. I mean, <laughs> it's just, and then she goes out. I think she says where she's going, but I didn't hear it, so I assumed that she was going out to plow the delivery guy. Even though she's married, and we do meet her husband her, via Skype. She's session. cucking her husband. Oh, yeah. He calls her from the middle of the Egyptian desert. Like, there's a fake CGI background with a pyramid. It's about, like, he's at a tent, and he's on the phone, and there's a computer. But it's like, <laughs> where is this power coming from? Yeah. No, and there was, there was a few things. <laughs> I've got a few things to say about this. Plot holes out the wazoo. Overall impressions, though. What are you thinking, Luke? So I guess it was it at uh, or nah? At uh, or nah? Uh, it's... Tough. It's like the mummy itself was very scary. They use practical effects. You know, it's it's creepy. It's creepy. It's not scary. I it's nah. You know, it's it's a solid episode of Goosebumps. I'm sure we'll be getting into some more that are just horrible and we'll be wanting more of these kind of episodes. But I wasn't like shook, you know? Yeah, I mean I was actually kinda hoping we would disagree on this one just to have a little more uh, like argument going on, but this was definitely a nah episode yeah. for me. It wasn't bad. I still enjoy it. It was right. It's fun to make fun of, and there's like there's parts of it that are still cool. I thought the costume design was good. The mummy looked like a real mummy. Yeah, no, it was great. It was you know it wasn't like toilet. Well, like <laughs> going back to the episode um, where the sisters bullying the kid, she dresses up as the mummy. Oh, yeah. And the friend takes a picture of the kid screaming, <laughs> like, reaction. If we haven't stressed that enough, this sister was fucked up. She was, like, she was so mean. Even delighting like, in the torment. The friend, after a while, was like, okay, like, uh... Oh, what about the pizza? 
<laughs> the pizza scene is so weird. The sister like ordered a pizza that was all olives, like barely any tomato sauce or cheese, mostly olives. It was bread and green olives. Just to spite her breath. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why do we get this pizza? And she's like, because like, I know you hate it or whatever. I've she been here. didn't look like she was loving it. Like It's not like she was Yeah, like, but like the friend probably didn't love it either. Like no. the friend just really went along. Like, I feel bad. Like, you know, down the line, like if they make it out alive at the end, I'll, yeah. they're not going to be friends for much longer so olive covered pizza nah episode as a whole nah for yeah. me but but i still have fun yeah and so the mummy and that's when what we're the, in when it the, for we're in when it for she the did fun. the when she dressed up as the mummy it looked good so like the point being like the mummy itself looked good like the wraps were legit yeah yeah and, yeah but even the sister like we said she probably put in so much time they must have spent an hour just like let's dress me up as a mummy and scare my brother. Yeah, no, more. she put time and it effort. It looks good. She took she put time and effort into that scare. Can I just ask? So Luke and I both have an older sister. What is like the worst thing your older sister did to like bully you as a kid, if anything okay. at all? Yeah, because I got um, something top of my mind, but you go first. <laughs> well, I like can't think of anything. Okay, well, pressing. I would say that me and my sister just used to like pull each other's hair like she never like went out of her way to prank me and i never was like like i would never do this this was not like a thing in our sibling rivalry it was mostly like mean comments and like hitting each other we were never like i'm gonna like torment this person no 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 and then me, but neither... i guess do you and your older sister have something no no i mean my sister and i we didn't like torment each other growing up for the most part we got along but we did have these like uh <laughs> we did have these maybe uh once every other week kind of battles where our parents would say, okay, you guys can watch one movie before you go to sleep. And the way me and my sister would resolve which movie we picked was I'd grab a movie I wanted to watch. She'd grab the movie she wanted to watch. And whoever got it in the VCR first got to play that movie. It was like a battle. It was a It was literally a physical battle to get your movie into VCR first. And (laughs) there was a, there was kind of cruel of your parents to like, no, my parents, child gladiators, they they would be like upstairs. This would be like in the basement. Oh, this is like you, you and your sister decided this between amongst exactly. each other it was amongst it was oh, okay. amongst thought, it was I amongst your ourselves parents were like all right well like the vcr only fits one tape so may the best man it. or woman win no no it was it was between me and her but i just vividly remember one time where she wanted to play sleeping beauty and i really wanted to watch toy story 2 and wow and while we were on the stairs moving to the basement she need me in the balls and I went down, and she got she got Sleeping Beauty on up down into the VCR by a landslide. Oh my god! Yep, yep, yep. That was a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt this kid's pain uh, to a, to a, to a small extent. You uh, had flashbacks of getting the need in the balls. I felt sympathy pains. Did you? Yeah, a little bit. No, oh. I, that, 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 I had to cross my legs at one point watching that. I was just like, ugh. Dead when they were running down the stairs, probably. <laughs> It's too real. Yeah, so if you're listening to this older sister... Uh, Who will be unnamed. We will not drag you into this. <laughs> that wasn't cool. What else I'd like to say about this episode is nothing. I think that's about sums it up for me. Um, yeah, this, is, this has been a great pod. Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, thanks for listening to the Boo Scumps Goosebumps podcast, episode two. With Luke and John. And John. And Luke. (laughs) Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. So he's fighting the mummy. They make it downstairs. They make it downstairs. <laughs> Go, Luke. I just like forgot. I just went blank. I just okay. I had to pause if you go. They make it downstairs. Go to the bathroom, and, and, and then the kid gets battle. an idea. Yeah, he, he <laughs> quick bathroom <laughs> break by Luke. <laughs> the kid uh, Jeff, the the young boy, gets My an name idea. Jeff. He runs to the kitchen and grabs the sarcophagus that's holding the mummy's heart.